Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. Today, Heffaland goes blue. And today I'm playing with this Matchbox Mr. Bean Mini. And uh, if you watched the first part of this video, you know exactly what's gonna happen to this one. Sometimes I just get carried away and I was having a lot of fun with this project so I thought, well, why not? The reason why I'm using Mr. Bean's car is because from all the diecast that I've seen, this one is the best example of a Mini. I'm also gonna show you how I made some extras and accessories for the other video, you know, like hats and drums, because uh, sometimes all you need is fun. And uh, after opening the car, this is what we've got. The chassis is made out of plastic, but I don't mind that much. The interior is brand new, same as the rest of the car, so the only thing I have to do is enjoy myself. I left it in paint stripper for a while and the paint comes off really really easy. And uh, while this is going on I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff. To make the first of the hats I'm gonna use this. It's a pipette and it's gonna be the top of the hat. But uh, first I need to sand it down, make it smooth and get rid of that seam. Now I'm just gonna make the other part of the hat. Now I just need to use some glue and it's ready for painting. And I'm gonna paint it red same as George Harrison, because this is actually George Harrison's uh, hat, even that John Lennon has got it. As for the feather, I'm gonna use a feather, but first I need to paint it green. Of course, it needs a trim. I don't need the whole chicken. And for the badge, I'm just gonna use a bit of a lighter. There you go, one of the hats. Don't take it too serious. And now, going back to the cars, the old paint is gone. It's left a couple of spots that I'm just gonna scrape, and then uh, I'll give you a good clean with a wire wheel.
still a couple of spots of paint left and I need to get rid of all the casting lines as well. Still a lot of work to be done, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the second hat. I'm then gonna use two pieces of plastic, one flat for the top, one with a hole for the bottom, and also this bit from a pen, because it's got breeches, and that is gonna give you a bit of texture. I've left the gap all around the hat and now I just need to glue the edges and it'll give it a bit of volume. There you go, so it's not completely flat. And as for the paint, I'm gonna paint it pink because even that Paul McCartney's got it, it's actually Ringo's. I'm gonna put a trim all around the hat and I'm just using a bit of glue and a bit of Christmas tinsel. After sanding and priming the car, it's ready for paint. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use light blue for the front of the car and that'll be his face dark blue for the rest of the body and that'll be his body and for the top black like the top of his head While this is drying, I'm gonna do the famous John Lennon glasses. And I'm just gonna use some metal rings and a piece of soft clear plastic.
After it's dry, I got rid of the excess plastic and now I just need to sand this smooth. Going back to the car, I'm gonna paint the chassis now, and I'm gonna paint the grill like his mouth, with red lips and yellow teeth. While it's drying, I'm going to show you how to make the drum. I'm just using a bottle top and I made some holes to put some pins through. After the holes are done, I'm just gonna fill it with a bit of a milliput and that'll give you a bit of stability and it will hold the pins in place. Now I just need to do the other side, let it dry and then take them off and paint it red. Now I'm just gonna glue a bit of blue tinsel around. After putting all the pins back on, I'm gonna put a bit of thread all around the drum.
It was a bit of a struggle doing all the knots with one hand and now I'm just gonna push all the pins all the way in. As for the drum skins, I don't know what's behind the drum because you can't see, but I'm gonna be using these pins. I don't know which one yet, but definitely this one for the front. There you go, I get high with a little help from my friends. If you see the picture of the blue mini, it's got two different colored boots. One of them is purple, one of them is uh, blue. So I'm gonna paint the hoops, one side in purple, one side in blue. And to finish it off, of course I'm gonna paint his mask and his eyes. It's all finished now, so I'm just gonna put it back together. I've done a couple of years, I didn't record it because I didn't think it was gonna work, but it actually kind of did. That's it, I finished now and I've had a lot of fun with this project. Just let your imagination go wild. You got nothing to lose, just a small toy. So, basically, I've painted his face and his body and the head in similar colors of the original character and then just adding some detail, like different color wheel hoops, even if you can't see it, and the ears, you know, the eyes, the mouth, the mask, and then it dropped it. There you go. Welcome to Pepperland. And now it's time to say goodnight. This is supposed to be only one day in the life and with yesterday it's been a long and winding road. So I'm gonna let it be for now 
and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.